Welcome back to another video. It's nice to see you again. Let's visit our friends together. The Sedge Warbler is an old world warbler in the genus Acrocephalus. It is a medium sized warbler with a brown, streaked back and wings, and a distinct pale supercilium. Sedge warblers are migratory, crossing the Sahara to get from their European and Asian breeding grounds to spend winter in Africa. The male song is composed of random chattering phrases and can include mimicry of other species. The sedge warbler is mostly insectivorous. This is a medium-sized warbler. It has a streaked brown back and wings and pale underparts. The rump is warm brown and unstreaked, contrasting with the duller wings. The forehead is flattened, there is a prominent whitish supercilium, the crown is streaked with black, and the bill is strong and pointed. The legs are grayish. The plumage of the sexes is identical, although they can be told apart when caught for ringing by the presence of a brood patch or cloacal protuberance. Juvenile birds have dark spots on the breast. They can be easier to confuse with aquatic warblers due to an apparent pale central crown stripe contrasting with the darker edges. Other similar species include mustache warblers and palaces grasshopper warblers. The typical lifespan is two years. The song is varied, rushed and chattering, with sweeter phrases and some mimicry, typical of the acrocephalus warblers. It is composed of phrases in random order, so that it is never the same. Now, let's listen to its call. Beautiful, isn't it? Male sedge warblers commence singing only a few hours after arriving on their breeding territory. The song is given from a bare perch such as a reed stem or bush, or from cover and during routine flights within their territory. Song flights are also performed, while singing, the bird takes off, rises to a height of around 2 to 5 meters and then after a short circling flight, makes a slow, parachuting descent, often with the wings held up in a V-shape. The song has the function of attracting a mate, rather than keeping other males away, and is stopped as soon as a mate is found. Prey taken by sedge warblers includes mayflies, dragonflies and damselflies, grasshoppers, bugs, lacewings, moths, beetles and flies. Vegetable material includes elderberries and blackberries. On their wintering grounds food includes non-biting midges and flowers and berries from the toothbrush tree. In late July, prior to migration, it appears that sedge warblers seek out sites with large numbers of plum reed aphids and stay there longer than at other places. Ringing studies show that birds may move considerable distances in search of food before beginning their actual migration. In Portugal, the aphid supply dries up too early for sedge warblers to utilize it, so many birds do not stop off there, and are already heavy with fat when they pass through. Birds with the heaviest fat reserves built up before migration are capable of non-stop flights from Africa to southern Britain, or from Uganda to Iraq, for example. Some double their normal weight when fueling for migration. Lighter birds are forced to make the journey in several shorter parts. Thank you very much for your patience. And we will meet pretty soon. Bye for now, keep smiling.